What's up, man? It's your boy. Hey, it's a black guy. How you guys doing today? I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're doing all right. This video today, as one of my videos on my new channel, is about my man, Bill Cosby. Dr. Bill Cosby, or William Cosby, or who, who have Bill Cosby. First and foremost, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon. I'm going to be there for my man, Dr. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is a great man. He is a wonderful man. Bill Cosby has done more for the black race than any other celebrity. Bill Cosby is the man. And the media is making him look like a fool. He's making him look like a degenerate, a pervert guy. And that may be true. But according to the Sixth Amendment right here, this right here, you should be reading right here. This nullifies public opinion. Public opinion about Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is innocent until proven guilty. And this video is about why I defend Bill Cosby. As I've said, Bill Cosby is a great person. Bill Cosby has done more for black people than... I don't know any other celebrity. Even the people who are talking about him, they haven't done anything as much as Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby has many of times have, have tried to, to buy NBC, but he couldn't. He couldn't buy NBC because, you know, how the, you know, the whites and the Jews in Hollywood, you know, they're not going to allow that. They're not going to allow that. And I believe more people should have bought, should have been with Bill Cosby to buy NBC for that. And I've heard that why this whole thing, this fiasco is going up is because Bill Cosby, he was going to make a, a new show. He was even getting with other black people to create a new network for blacks. So I heard a lot about that. And this is why this is brought up. But one thing I don't understand. Why did it take 40 years to just to tell this stuff? To tell about the women getting drunk and women, you know, <laughs> you know, he's raping women and stuff. Why did it take 40 years? And I looked at the arguments from the left and the right. Most feminists have said, you know, you know, women really don't want to say that. It would embarrass him, probably hurt his career. But if you were, I mean, you would actually be more credible if you came out during the guy when he was at his prime of his career. I mean, that's what I would have did as a female. I would have did that. That's what I would have did. I wouldn't come, you know, four years afterwards, you know, after the statue of uh, I think it's Statue of Limitations. After that's gone, and then go to the media and stuff. And I actually looked at these women. I looked at one of them, the, the two white women. And, I mean, one of the white women, one of the white women, the white woman, the, I think the blonde hair one, all the way during the interview, she was smirking. She was like, why would you smirk if you're being, if you're accusing another dude of, of rape? Usually when women, those other women accuse of a man of rape, um, they're they're probably up there crying. They're they're usually up there crying to the media and stuff. Oh, I was her and stuff. This woman was smirking during the interview. The whole interview she was smirking. And there was another woman in 1969 talking about sucking Bill Cosby's penis. You know, just like he forced me to suck his penis. Why would someone for? <laughs> I don't get. You know. You know. I what I what I got out of it is that 
these women were groupies. You know, they were his groupies. And now that their careers have failed, they're washed up. They're going after him because he has all the money. You know, Bill Cosby is worth 300 million plus. That's a lot of money. So they got with their lawyers and said, we're going to get We're going to bring up these allegations and try to get money out there. He's 70. I think he's 77 years old. He doesn't have longer to live, you know, and it's it's very sad. A lot of women. I'm 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 be really honest with you. It's not all women. It's not Nay Walt. It's not all women. But some women are. I, I'm just gonna have to agree with A. Murphy. A. Murphy said women are vindictive by nature, and it's very true. Women are. I'm looking at the time right here. Six minutes. Women are vindictive by nature. If they don't get what they want, they gonna come after your ass. All right. What do you think about all these women, you know, they get with their boyfriend, the dude, the thug and stuff. He don't want to pay. Where do you think they go? They go to the state. They go to child support. They, 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 they get back at the dude by going child support, you know? Or they might have his baby out of wedlock or something. You know what I'm saying? This is what these women do these days. They they, they messed up. They fucked up. They they crazy. They're insane. They, you, you might, you can sleep with this woman. You know, sleep word for a long time. And then one day she'll accuse you of rape. That's how it goes with these hoes out here. That's why you got to be careful. If you a man, you can't be going with these hoes, man. You got to be careful. That's why they used to have back in the day, used to have courtship. What do you think with courting? Courting, courtship. You're courting. You're producing evidence of this woman. You know, as the people, black, the, the people back then, what they used to say is, you know, you need to know about your partner. So today you need to know about your partner because you be, you could be with this chick and she can, you know, you can like give her a whole bunch of money and stuff. Then one day you said, no, I'm, I'm a coffee paycheck. And then she comes at you and be like, um, she goes to the police or she goes to a family. Members, oh, he raped me. He did all this. This is what women do these days. They're not like the women back then who actually had, you know, they, they were actually, I'm looking, I'm, I'm trying not to peek. They were actually pretty, you know, decent. But today, they're not. They're crazy. Some of them women out here, they crazy. They use men. And they're fucked up. Be careful. If you're a male out there, be careful. And as I said before, women are emotional. They're emotional creatures. Men are logical creatures. This is how it is. This is nature. And when you go against the Dow or the TAO, you're going to have problems. Like they were having problems. People are going against the Dow. And I believe these women were actually, you know, doing Bill Cosby. It was fucking him. And he said, no, I'm going to cut you. Um, I'm going to cut your picture. Oh, he raped me. He raped me. Bill Cosby raped me. That's what they do. Be careful out there. Be absolutely careful. Don't fall for the okie doke. Like this one one that one blind woman. I'm looking at the time. Sorry. <laughs> one blind woman. Um, the blonde woman. As I've said, the blonde woman. She got all she was traveling with dude, hotels and everything. How can you accuse a dude of rape if you traveling with the dude? I don't get. It. You know, I, I just don't understand it. And lastly, I'm going to uh, leave you with this, is that a lot of black people hate Bill Cosby. And the reason why they hate Bill Cosby ain't because of all this rape, ain't because of, you know, the white women, and it's not because of that. It's because Bill Cosby says, pick up your, pick up, pick up your bootstraps. And do for self. That's why you hate Bill Cosby. You hate him. You don't like him. Because he tells you. You have to be personally responsible for your own life. No one has ever told you this. And you tell these Negroes this. And they get crazy. They get erratic. You telling me I got to look in the mirror and stuff. That's hard. And these niggas don't like that. 
So that's why Bill Cosby, that's why they have to, that's the real reason why they build after Bill Cosby. They ain't after Bill Cosby because Ray, they Bill Cosby because they have to Bill Cosby because he said, you have to pick your own self by your own bootstraps and do what's necessary in life to become successful just like him. That's why. That's why you hate Bill Cosby. You don't like him. And you don't like me when I say the same thing too. But I'm telling you today, you have to do for self. You have to stop blaming white people, blaming everybody for your problems. That's your fault. That ain't nobody else's fault. Ain't your mama, or daddy, or nobody. Ain't white people, ain't, ain't, ain't anybody else. That's your fault. And that's all I had to say today. My homeboy said, you know, you need to make a video about Bill Cosby. Well, right here is right here today about Bill Cosby. I'll check you guys out later. As always, peace out.